when we look at energy sector, when we look at rough energy, we do talk a lot about these, you know, collaboration technologies that are solving problem for mostly energy, you know, sector. But when we look at, you know, the much bigger picture, we talk about climate crisis, uh, which is becoming a really important topic because the places we are used to snow, 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 where it was a desert, it's snowing and raining. Uh, what role do you see project like Open Synth, you know, even if the project is looking at a specific problem, will uh, deal with this, you know, the l much bigger problem that we're looking at? Yeah, great question. Um, I mean, one of the things that, that we know is really important is that, the, you know, the world is changing quickly, right? And energy systems are changing quickly. Part of that is weather. Part of that is is the change to the wider energy system in terms of, you know, bi-directional energy flows, distributed energy, changing consumption profiles from weather, but also from low carbon technologies people are using. And a whole bunch of factors are really changing that. And so what, what we hope from synthetic data and from OpenSynth is to... Um, embed some of um, our thinking on what the future looks like in that data so that we can accelerate research and um, accelerate the transition as quickly as possible by using data that is not only up to date with the most recent kind of sources of data, but is also encompasses what we think of the future. So for us as a, as a research institute, we do lots of global research to understand what future behaviors will look like from a consumer perspective. So we run global field trials and large scale analyses. And what we hope to do is embed the insights and learnings from that research within the data, such that when it's used in, in modeling to plan the, that future global energy system, um, we're already looking at, at where we think the future is going and, and for that to represent it accurately.